we going? We are going on our little jolly bob. We're off to the land of the valleys. We're going back to Wales. How is it that whenever we go on a photography road trip together, yeah. whether it be to Scotland or to the Lake District or now to Wales, it ends up being glorious weather with bright blue skies, no clouds, which is utter crap for landscape photography. You make me happy when skies are grey. I don't think I've ever been down such a narrow road before. Let's hope nothing comes the other way. Hi guys. Found our little pad. Well, we lucked out here, haven't we? Our lovely little cuckoo's nest. <gasps> I mean, the view though. <laughs> Where have you brought me? Under the earth. So Jackie, why are you wearing two jumpers? Because I've got mine and yours. Oh yeah. <sighs> Makes your haps look huge. My haps! <laughs> <laughs> That's how we say hips in Scotland. Haps. Haps. <laughs> anyway, where have we landed? We've landed in Elan Valley. And this is? Well, it, it, just behind us there's a reservoir, which you can see, and there's a dam wall. Um, the water isn't not quite... A, not a dam wall. Not a dam wall. This area is uh, an international dark sky park. So when the sun goes down, there is very, very little to no light pollution. Right. So you can see the stars, you can see the sky, mm. and this is one of the best places to come and see it. And if you've got an app called Photo Pills, which I happen to have. Oh. It allows you to see the starry night in an augmented reality version. Let's go to ooh, two o'clock in the morning. That's where the Milky Way is going to be. That's pretty cool. In the morning. So I've got a lovely composition here with this leading line and the road and the sun's coming in. So I'm going to go and get in the frame to give it some scale and that nice shadow on the floor. And I'll take a bracketed shot of three images. So here we go. Using exposure bracketing ensures you get a perfectly exposed shot to choose from out of the three or five images taken. Had a lovely meal at the George the Third pub, fish and chips, and uh, it's golden hour in it. to the Black Hills. Black Mountains. Black Mountains. But that doesn't fit with the song. Take me back to the Black Hills. But that's Dakota and that's not Wales, so none of it fits. Let's go with Black Mountains. Oh, it's the first stop. <laughs> the first stop. <laughs> go on. <laughs> it's a very high point in Wales and it is called, lovingly, Lord Hereford's Knob. So, we're just outside Hay on Wye. Mark was reading up this morning that this area is quite notorious for wild horses.
So being a photographer, I spend a lot of time taking photographs and then editing them on my computer, but for the most part, that's where they stay. Such a small percentage of those photos ever make it to print, but I've been inspired to get some of my work off of the computer and onto the walls with the help of Saal Digital, which is today's sponsor. Their super easy to use website and online design portal is a really great way to bring your memories to life. Take this picture I just took of my wife and I here in Wales, for example. I wanted to turn it into something a bit different, so opted for one of their high resolution metal prints. I went for 30 by 45 sizing with an aluminium subframe, allowing it to hang one centimeter off the wall, looking like it's floating with no nails showing. The process was really quick and easy, even with all the choices to make. Saal Digital has many different products to choose from. These magnetic mount squares from their wall art section really caught my eye. And again, very easy to design and edit on the website and available in various number combinations so you can create your own little gallery at home. I went for 30 by 30 frameless prints on five millimeter PVC foam with magnetic mounts. So we can switch them around and freshen up the layout whenever we want. All the products arrived really quickly and were individually wrapped with attention to detail on each product. So whether you're looking for classic prints, posters, photo books, or standout wall art, Saal Digital has got you covered. So head on over to their website today and free up those photos. Wild horses couldn't keep us away. Fact. We just saw two literally running and we're halfway up this hill and you could hear their feet on the road. They're trotters. Trotters, I don't think horses have trotters. Do they not? No, they've just got legs and they've got hooves. Uh, maybe it's because they trot. Yeah. I always assume. Pigs have trotters. I always just associate trotting yeah. with trotters. No, not. Well, that's actual. just me being stupid. But show them Lord Hereford's knob. <laughs> that's Lord Hereford's knob. Okay. That point there. We're hoping to capture him from the top of this little mountain that we're climbing. It's not so little, it's quite hefty. So we find ourselves at Dolgoch Falls while trying to find them and completely by accident we were on a road heading up through the middle of Snowdonia, Snowdonia, <laughs> <laughs> Snowdonia National Park um, but unfortunately there's been an accident and the road is closed so we stopped basically where we were and it was here. You can see there's a, an old railway, Dolgoch Railway and Dolgoch Falls and Mark McGee loves a waterfall. What's happening? We're moving location. We just need to go to the other side of the bank because we can't get low enough on this side, but the other side is a way to get down right near to the water. So what I'm trying to achieve here is a lovely waterfall shot. I'm trying to wait for the sun to poke through the canopy of trees at the top here onto the wall that's on the left hand side and I'm hopeful that's going to happen. I'm going to do a focus stack of two images, um, F14, half a second, ISO 50 and focusing on the waterfall for the first shot and then the foreground for the second shot. So it's just a waiting game. I'm always quite happy when you find something to photograph because I get to sit down. We just seen steam train I love a steam train just happened to have my 50 millimeter on the camera and it's just coming straight past us with this bridge and it's not the best shot but it's a shot that I didn't expect to get so while we were at the waterfall when we were coming back we heard a whoo -hoo! and so a steam train going over a little bridge so we headed up to here Dolgoch station and there was a lovely little steam train sitting 
um, and Mark's just taken some pictures of it going over another little bridge but we've just seen the timetable and it's coming back to Dolgoch in about an hour's time so we're going to hang about and get it coming back into the station. Right, snacks, come on. <laughs> <sighs> the bucket shot still eludes me. What happened? The engine's backwards. <laughs> there you have it. The train was backwards. <laughs> what you gonna do? You found a toy. <laughs> well, it's an old JCB and it looks absolutely knackered, doesn't it? but it's just sat there on the side of the road and I thought we'd have to stop and photograph it, don't you think? Uh, I'm on my 50 millimeter lens, 1.4. Just trying to find the right angle. I've swapped my 24mm lens, I think it's a better composition, just looks a bit more abstract. Got a couple of nice close-up shots, but really it's the it's the 24 millimeter with the hills in the background that works really well. So that was my trip around Wales, the Black Mountains, the Brecon Beacons. I uh, didn't really have the weather this time; it was always a bit too sunny. Um, photographers are always looking for those moody scenes with the mist, or you've got to wait until nine o'clock at night, being summer for those sunsets. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to give Sol Digital a try. I'll catch you next time.